guys, welcome back to our lesson and this is your teacher Julie again. And for today's topic, I will be teaching you some common mistakes in English. Yung mga hindi natin nakalain, ay mali pala yung gamit ko. Ito pala yung tamang gamit nito word na to. Okay, I will give you an example. That is your book. Oh, you're so beautiful. Your daughter is very nice. This is your pencil. Okay. So, may idea na ba kayo kung ano mga ito? Okay. So, if you are ready, let's get started. Today, we will be talking about the difference of your and your. Hmm. Parang pareho lang naman sila. Yes, they have the same pronunciation. Pero pareho ba sila ng kahulugan o magkaiba sila? I will tell you later on. For example, Nagpatulong sa'yo ang iyong brother to make him a leopard para sa kanyang girlfriend. Okay, so siya ay humingi ng tulong sa'yo. So it means, ikaw ang gagawa ng letter for him, for your brother. However, alam mo sa sarili mo na medyo nalilito ka kung paano gamitin ang your at ang your. Kung talagang gusto mong malaman, panoorin mo to hanggang dulo para maintindihan mo ang pinagkaiba ng your at ng your. So, let's differentiate these words. Your. Y-O-U-R. This is a possessive adjective. Something that you own. Something that belongs to you. Sa'yo lang. Ikaw lang ang nagmamayari ng isang bagay o ng isang tao. It is always followed by a noun. For example, your book, your pencil, your mother. Book, pencil, and mother, they are all nouns. Next is your, Y-O-U, there is an apostrophe and an RE. A conjunction of you are. So, pinaiksi lang natin ang dalawang words. Ikaw ay. Ikaw lang ang tinutukoy. For example, You are beautiful lady. You're beautiful. You are amazing. You're amazing. Next is, you're kind and you're kind. Take a look at these examples. Your kind is wrong because again, your is a possessive adjective. You cannot say, sayo ay mabait. It's wrong. It should be, you are kind. You're kind. Ikaw ay mabait. Gets nyo na? So, I will give you a short quiz, like five sentences. At sagutin nyo if it's your or your. Okay? Ipapakita ko yan sa inyo. And you can um, write your answer sa comment box para makita ko din yan. Good luck!
give you some tips before this lesson ends. If you are writing something, especially um, if you are writing a formal letter, you have to be careful of using these words. Yung your at na your. Kasi it's a document. Okay? So yun lang. At least alam mo na kung paano gamitin sila. So sana you guys learned a lot and see you guys on my next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga next lessons ko.